have Layla here for you. Now she hasn't been eating, but she's been drinking. They want us to run ultrasound on her liver and spleen. Okay. Layla is a dog that's been referred to us from another vet. We've received some preliminary blood work results and a copy of her x-rays. However, they didn't have all the necessary equipment to complete their diagnosis. Hello, how's it going? Hey. I'm Dr. Ross. Hey, Dr. Ross. How are you, How you doing that, sir? Hi. All right. So um, I see here that Layla's six. Yes, she just turned six. Okay. Um, she's our, she's our very first dog, our first love. Really? <laughs> okay. And um, she's super sweet. Just need my baby back. Can you tell me kind of what's going on? I was gone for a week. Okay. My father was uh, taking care of her. My dad said that um, these last few days she wasn't eating. She wasn't her usual playful self. Okay. So when I got home, went to the other vet first since so she's a little bit closer. She did x-ray, ran some blood work. She wanted her to have an ultrasound as soon as possible. Okay. And we came here. Okay. I'm looking at the blood work. We do have some values that looks that she could be bleeding or have some type of blood loss anemia. She does have like a little yellow color to her eyes and to her ears. Mm -hmm. You see like her color is not mm -hmm. all the way there. Even if you look at her gums, mm -hmm. you see they're not as pink as they should be. And that could just be due to her being anemic. Mm -hmm. Because what could be happening is she could have a slow leak in, uh, in her spleen causing her to have low, low white blood cells um, as well as low red blood cells. When talking about anemia, you have to think about the liver and the spleen. They're the primary suspects. They both could have a tumor that could be depleting the red blood cells. The abdominal ultrasound will let me know if we have a mass on the liver as well as the spleen. Once I do that, uh, if I see a mass, I would recommend going into surgery immediately um, and removing that tumor. Once we get the diagnosis, we'll know what we're treating. Um, so we definitely can perform that ultrasound a day. Since she hasn't really eaten in a week, I strongly recommend her being here hospitalized, placed on IV fluids so she could get nutrients because if she's not eating, she's not going to be able to fight off whatever she's dealing with right now because she's so weak. I know you know how much I love her. You know how good I take care of her. She's my absolute everything. And I just, I just need her. I just, just, just. If you could just, you know, Yeah, we'll, we'll do everything. Her. We'll do everything uh, in our power to get her back to normal. All right, ready? Yes. Thank you, Kiara. You're welcome. It'll be real quick, all right? So you see that texture there? Yeah. That is the liver. Okay. I'm looking for any uh, abnormal texture within the, within the liver when I don't see that. Uh, so I'm gonna go locate the spleen. So right here, mm -hmm. that's the spleen. We did see that we're anemic. So sometimes you can have a leakage coming off the spleen causing an accumulation of blood within the abdominal cavity. We don't see that. So that's a plus. The good news is we don't have to go to surgery. Um, I don't see any masses within the abdominal cavity and the texture of the liver and the spleen is normal. All clear on the ultrasound. Layla's blood work could get back tomorrow and hopefully that'll give us a clear diagnosis of what we're dealing with. In the meantime, I want to keep Layla here overnight and place her on some IV fluids. She's a big girl. Hi, Kayla. Can you get Layla for me? Mom's here. Yes. We kept Layla here overnight to monitor her condition. We placed her on IV fluids and gave her medication. She's doing so much better now, and she's ready to go home. Hey, Layla's trying to escape. Really ready to go home. She has a better color. All right, you ready? Let's go see mom. All right, come on, mom. We got our results back from the lab, and I have some news to share with the owner. Come on, let's go see mom. Let's go see mom. <laughs> yeah. Hi, sweet pea. Hi, sweet pea. Hi. She's doing so much better. We did perform the um, abdominal ultrasound. We had no tumor on the spleen nor the liver. Um, everything looked really well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The good news is we figured out what we're dealing with. We're dealing with IMHA. IMHA, immune-mediated hemolytic anemia. It's a disease process where the body attacks its own red blood cells. It's not very common in dogs, but if dogs get it, it's a lifelong disease, but it can be treated with proper medication. Red blood cells are trying to catch up 
to the anemia. Okay. But since the immune system is so suppressed, we had to give steroids. Uh, we're gonna also give antibiotic, making sure she doesn't have anything infectious, causing her to be ill as well. I am very happy and very thankful. This is my pride and joy. This is my life. <laughs> Just forever, ever, internally grateful. Uh, thank you for, for trusting us with your baby. Thank you, Dr. Ross. Oh, you're welcome, thank, thank you. you. Sweet pea. <laughs> So what brings you in today with Galileo? He has a, like a bubble on his eye. It's, it's kind of weird. How long has it been? Uh, it's been there for two weeks. I was going to just try to let it go away, but it never went away, so. Can he still hunt? Mm hmm Awesome. Because usually when they have disease with the eye, they can't really find a prey, and they usually miss. It doesn't look like it's like impairing him or anything. It's just, it's just kind of there. You mind if I hold him? Yeah, thank you. Oh, don't you run from me. His eye actually looks really good. So I'm definitely thinking that it is a possible vitamin A deficiency. Okay. I want to see if it's fluid filled. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rub a little numbing gel on there, take a really small syringe, and see if I can get any fluid out. Okay. Vitamin A deficiency is common in pet chameleons because their diet consists mainly of insects. However, in a the while, they eat small lizards and birds, which are higher in vitamin A. Okay, Miss Ashley and Kim. Hello. Hi. This is Morgan. She's gonna kind of help me restrain so you don't be the bad person today. She's gonna be the bad person. Okay, okay. unfortunately. It's a little lidocaine right on that bevel. All right, come on, Papa Bear. There you go, big guy. All right, so you gotta keep them very, very still, Morgan. Okay. All right, I drained a little bit of that fluid. We're gonna send it out for cytology. Okay. All right, so this here is the vitamin A. I'm gonna put it in his back leg. Look at those colors. You see him turning yeah, colors? Yeah, he's not happy. Yeah, that's, that's definitely <laughs> what you know. I do believe that it is a vitamin A deficiency. In two weeks, if it's still not better, we're gonna have to flush those nasal lacrimal ducts. Okay. Okay. But I think we're heading in the right direction. But all in all, he looks good. You're doing a good job for your first reptile. Thank you.